is that it gives us the tools to be able to go and actually make a change in those neuro-linguistic programs by using uh, structures like we call the timeline, by using the, the people uh, working with perceptual positions, with the, the updating their role models and their internal map of the world. So I think what is truly, truly the gift of NLP that a, a clearly an elephant can't do, but a human can do, is to not only develop awareness of the belief, but have tools that allow us to bring resources t to reprogram, if you will, that, that imprint, that very core expectation. Well, and speaking of the awareness of the belief, one of the things I know from being involved with NLP for all these years and having a practice myself is that these beliefs can be incredibly difficult to find sometimes and so you have have called them in your in your books you call them unconscious limiting beliefs right and one of the things that you two have done is come up with some incredible innovative ways to identify these limiting beliefs so how does somebody even know that they have a limiting belief and then how do you even go about identifying a, a limiting belief? Well, 